Between 1943 and 1944, Hitler's empire, which extended from the Volga to the shores of England, began to crumble under the blows of the Soviet army and the landings on Europe of the English and American forces. In the east, the Nazi army was retreating from the boundaries of Russia. Decimated in battle and doomed to a ruinous march across the Ukraine and Poland, they were no longer a fighting force. In the south, the English and Americans inched their way up the Italian peninsula, where Mussolini's fascist regime had been overthrown. In June 1944, Rome was liberated. The remains of the Italian army and local partisan groups joined the Allies in their mission of pushing the Nazis out of Italy. After the liberation of Paris, the Nazi war machine in the West was being squeezed toward the Rhine. On April 11, 1945, the English and Americans started advancing toward Berlin. On April 16th, the Russians initiated the battle for Berlin. Only 15 days remained until the fall of Hitler amidst the ruins of the Reich. Haunted by the horrors of the concentration camps, in which millions of human beings had suffered a terrible death. Isolated in the north of Italy, Mussolini, who had ruled Italy as dictator for 22 years, was now the head of a phantom government. Since joining Hitler, Il Duce had instituted harsher penalties, and the Italians were being murdered, starved, and tortured. On April 20th, General Clark's troops were headed toward Milan. 200,000 partisans awaited the call from Allied headquarters to begin the insurrection against the enemy. Mussolini himself felt the strings tightening, the final drama of his reign. The Germans wanted him at their side. The Americans and the English wanted to capture him alive, to try him as a war criminal. And the National Liberation Committee had already imposed the sentence of death on Benito Mussolini. The hunt for him began on April 24, 1945. It ended on April 28th. Captain Kisner, shall I announce you to His Excellency? Oh, just a moment. I'll do check. Do you always enter unannounced? There wasn't any time. Why not? The German embassy is moving to Berlin through Austria. We are going to join it. The movements of your soldiers must be strictly coordinated with those of the Reichs. You and your government must get out of Milan. Under your protection, the Führer needs an ally, not a prisoner. Right now, there are thousands of men ready to die for another fascist victory. Now they're bringing the ashes of Dante Alighieri from Ravenna. Dante, the father of the Italian language. I'll report your intentions to Berlin. But for the moment, our objective must be to get to Austria. You must not leave Milan till we are ready to move. And furthermore, Excellency, what? You must give me your word, your word of honor. You have my promise?
many men can you spare in Milan? Twelve, sir. I'll be back tomorrow. Meanwhile, don't let him out of your sight for a second. And if he tries to escape, orders are explicit. He's to be shot. No hesitation. Insurrection will follow. But General Clark has prohibited any attempt of insurrection. Down. The general strike declared by the Volunteers of Liberty is in effect. All partisan and freedom loving citizens are urged to demonstrate in the streets under the tricolor of the National Liberation Committee. We are waiting for word from the free government of Rome and Marshal Bodoglio that they support our efforts. Italians, throw off the yoke of occupation, overthrow the demeaning rule of Mussolini and Hitler, death to the fascists. Join the general strike. Then our mediation is imperative. Our blood will run in every gutter in Milan. Permanence. The fascists have been given four hours to surrender their weapons to the partisans. After six o'clock, it'll be shoot on sight. Excellency, I greatly appreciate your coming here. I only pray our meeting may prevent further sorrow and destruction. You are now the only man capable of saving Northern Italy from complete chaos and disaster. It'll take all your courage. The journey to St. Helena is long and lonely. And dangerous. You have to remember that Napoleon was on the deck of a British warship, not so comfortable, but much safer than a Cardinal Salon in Milan. May I ask how you intend to save Milan from a similar destruction? And that useless slaughter you were unable to spare the rest of Italy. Meaning? Drink? No. <laughs> no. Do you plan to accept the conditions that are sure to be offered you today? My plan is simple. It's in two parts. First, I disband the army and the Republican National Guard. Second, I withdraw into the mountains with thousands of my loyal followers. You mean to continue the war? A symbolic gesture. An empty gesture. The black shirts ready to follow you are maybe... Nearer 300, but hardly thousands. More, more. Many more. So, General, what do you uh, propose? Well, uh, I have learned that the uh, Germans have completed the negotiations for the surrender of all their troops in Italy to the Allies. General Wolf. It is expected here at the palace any minute to sign the agreement with the civil powers. How did you find that out? From the cardinal secretary. He handled the negotiations with the Germans. Now that the secret's out, I can but confirm it. I mean, but, but what are the conditions? The Germans will be considered prisoners of war in accordance with international conventions. In exchange, they pledge not to destroy factories, not to take hostages, and to disarm the fascist militia. I can't believe it. I cannot believe that you would use the Germans against our own people. Not our people, your people, your mercenaries. The Germans who have always treated the Italians as servants, and now in the end betray us. We were never their allies. They betrayed the fascists, they betrayed you. Then I will deal with them! I! Paducci, we must try to talk to the Germans. I want it understood. That from this moment, I am resuming full liberty of actions with the Germans. I may! I return in an hour. Italian dead. Then 
I can sit down at the negotiating table and I can negotiate as an equal. Do you understand? Your General Wolf has betrayed us. He surrendered behind our back. Babalini, what's happening? Why aren't you giving orders? I have to know first what orders to give. How many black shirts can you get? At least 30,000, Duce. We can't keep on repeating these lies. Where are these men? Nowhere. And where are we? Nowhere. You don't know what you're talking about. Our men are pouring into Berlin from all over. I don't right see now. them. Valtellina has there. become the last bulwark of fascism. Yes, Let's yes. Go to there's nothing there. No food, no guns, nothing. Back of lies. We haven't enough gasoline to get there. You want to give up? To surrender to partisans, to bandits? Damn it. We must die fighting. No agreements with Germans, partisans, anybody. Yeah, right, 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 right. My God, you're like children. We go to Como. Then we consolidate and I'll decide whether we go into Austria or we die in the Alps with the ashes of Dante. You can't be any help to him now. You're only in the way. He needs me. He's always needed me. You and a hundred others. He wants me. And I want to be with him now more than ever. I'm not going to leave him now that he's in danger. Besides, he'll find a way out. I know he'll find a way out. There is no way. They'll hunt him down like an animal and kill you both. Why? What about Switzerland? The Swiss frontier isn't far from here. The Germans won't even let him see the frontier. his mind and great courage. He'll think of something. You know? He already sent Churchill a letter. It's a magnificent letter. It's a plan. Mind you, there's nothing cowardly defeatist about it. It's a plan to defeat communism all over the world, not just in Italy, but everywhere in the world. And Churchill will listen to him. He must listen to him. You know, They've written off by Benito once before. But he won through. I know he went through again. You must trust him. He promised me he'd never see that woman again. The Kursi girl? But she's his daughter. At least that's what everybody says in Rome. His mistress or his bastard, she's a whore to me. Look, Clara, do you still really want to follow him? Anywhere. Anywhere. Signor Sereni, you must listen to your cardinal. You must promise me there will be no armed insurrection. You are not my cardinal. And it's impossible to stop now. The wheel's already spinning. Signor Valiani, you persuade him. What's the use of fighting? If the fascists surrender, there'll be no fighting. And you, Signor Lombardi? Everything will be done legally. Criminals of war will be court-martialed. If Mussolini surrenders, his life might be spared. We've given our word, gentlemen. Mussolini is an exception. He's already been sentenced to death, and the sentence must be carried out. After seven, he said he'd have an answer for us in an hour. We'll see what he's decided to do. May Abbasi speak to you? This is Cardinal Schuster. I'm speaking from the Archbishop's palace. They're waiting for Mussolini's answer here. The Duce has left. There is no answer. Your Eminence. Mr. 
Dollars, Milan. Mussolini has left the city and is heading north. There's a lot of people chasing him. English partisans and especially the communists among them. We must be first. The order is to take him alive. And that order was transmitted personally from President Truman to General Clark. I'll leave in 15 minutes. I've got 12 men in my squad. Thank you. We'll have to cross the border a couple at a time. And then what? We'll rendezvous before dawn in the Mount Olimpino shelter. It's only a couple of miles across the border, right on top of Como. We have an agent in Como already, Harry Benton. He has a lot of excellent contacts. Luckily, the Rome government secret services have agreed to collaborate with us. According to their latest information, what Mussolini wants most of all is to turn himself over to us. I don't know how true that is. I'll find out. If correct, I'll try not to let him down. Good luck, Captain. Good luck. Taylor, what's the situation here in Como? The city is calm, but there are strong groups of partisans up in the mountains. If they unite and attack, there is nothing we can do. Maybe. Maybe we can make arrangements with the Swiss for the safe passage of the entire government. Buffarini, you tell everyone of our new plans. Celio. Luce. Is it true you have contacts with the Americans in Lugano? It was a matter of some passports. I know, but do you have contact? Yes, Duce. Call them and tell them I want to give myself up. Yes, Duce. No, I am not trying to run away. I am not trying to save myself, but I must meet the Americans on neutral ground so we can bargain on equal terms. I am far from finished, and Italy and I still have a destiny together, but I must get to Switzerland, and the Swiss cannot refuse me an entry permit. I only hope it's not too late. Your departure from Milan did nothing but worsen the situation. Milan is in the hands of the rebels, and the partisans are spreading out towards the Swiss border. You have to help me. I'll telephone the Swiss authorities immediately. I just had a telephone call from the prefect at Como. Mussolini wants to hand himself over to us. He's waiting for an answer. Tell him this. He can cross the border by tomorrow at 1 p.m., but alone. He's asked authorization for two other people. I gather one of them would be the Patachi one. All right, for him and two others, we must have an agent at every border post. Do you really think that he means to surrender to us? If he tries to escape, the Germans will shoot him. If he stays, the partisans will. That's for sure. We're his only hope. Alan, do you think that Washington will be lenient with him? He'll be a prize trophy to show at the peace table. But there are eight million Italians in America. Truman will have to handle them very carefully if he wants their vote for re-election. If they say thumbs down, what can Truman do? And if they say thumbs up, then Truman's in. Cigar. Thanks. Back up! Back up! Lieutenant! Lieutenant! Back up! Mussolini's leaving. Duce, you can't leave here on your own. I go where I want, when I want. Now get out of my way. You can go, but under my escort. You heard what he said? The Duce can do what he pleases. In the absence of Captain Kisnat, I am responsible directly to the Fuhrer for the Duce's personal safety. You weren't concerned with my safety when General Wolf surrendered. I don't know anything about that. My orders are direct from Berlin, and I am personally responsible. I'm not concerned with your problems. Not at all. Nobody moves without us! Do. 
Lassie. Tell them no fighting. Let the Germans follow. Yes, Lieutenant. Let's go. Jackson, set up the radio and make contact with Lugano right away. You go down to Como. You know where to find Benton. I'll try contacting you as soon as possible. Mussolini's down there and he mustn't get away. We have to get him before the Germans, the Italians, and even the damned English. We must get him first. Okay, boys. When you're all in uniform, get some rest. It's going to be a tough day. but you can't go in. Can't go in? What do you mean I can't go in? We must talk with the Duce. He said you're to avoid forming groups. He needs some rest, he's sleep. And why didn't he wait around for Pavellini and all his black shirts? We don't even know what we're supposed to do. Oh, well. We need precise orders. You'll get your orders at noon. Meanwhile, clear the square and go back to Cadenabia. I'll go to Cadenabia and I'll stay there. But can't you understand this whole thing's a trick? Mussolini's planning his own escape to Switzerland and leaving us to fend for ourselves. Well, let him run. I'm going to do my duty as a soldier. You do that. Walk over to the enemy and give yourself up. Never! why we're here. Guests at a honeymoon party. Who needs guests at a honeymoon? Baracco. Mrs. Petacci would like to know if she can see him. His Excellency left instructions to admit you. I have brought the last loyal men to die with you. Good. There are thousands of black shirts gathered in Como with 200 trucks and 10 armored cars. Any news of Commander Borghese and the others? Commander Borghese, he disbanded his troops in Milan and is waiting for the Americans. In the good old military tradition, even Graziani is talking a lot about surrendering. With honor. Honor. It's ironic. My generals only become concerned with honor when it has to do with surrender. 
Anyway, I like the courage that you and your black shirts have shown, Pavolini. Pavolini? No, alone. Should I tell Mrs. Petacci? Yes. Oh. Tell her that this time uh, she comes in the car with me. May I ask where you're going? Why don't you follow me and find out? Get him over. He's going down. Get the car. I'll be right there. the Germans. There are 500 black shirts waiting in Grandola right now, and I think that's enough to deal with the Germans and get us across the border into Switzerland. How are you feeling? I slept a few hours very badly. Can't you get past them, those spaghetti heads? Fiorentina by Pixio Cherubini. Il Duce. Where is everyone? No one's here but us. Is there access from here to the Swiss border? Yes, but it's 15 kilometers. Stupid, it's too narrow for a car. There must be another way.
I repeat, the Swiss authorities have closed the frontier. I have to have permission for two people, only two people, myself and someone very close to me. That way maybe we can slip across the Swiss border at night. But I have to have permission from the Swiss. I mean, that can't be too difficult. The border officials have already refused entry to your wife and your children. They what? Refused entry. There's nothing I can do. I see. I see. All right. All right. I wanted to avoid bloodshed, but now I have to wait for Pavolini's men and try to resist until the Americans arrive. But I want you to remember one thing. I was forced to do this, forced to do it, and the blood is on your hands. And this was the man who thought he was another Caesar. Fit to rule the world. A god. Now how will he be remembered? Has the man who made the trains run on time? We wait for the Americans. Relax, boys. It's better. Captain? Hey, Benton. This man is an agent for the government in Rome. How do you do? Cigarette? Thank you. The remains of the fascist army have managed to get to Como and want to negotiate surrender. Their leaders have asked me to act as uh, a go-between. That's impossible. The fascists are still at war with the United States. There can be no negotiation until uh, unconditional surrender. The fascists intend to surrender. I know that. But what happens once they do? Their safety will be guaranteed. And what about Mussolini? I've already told him, Captain. If Mussolini turns himself over to us, he'll have nothing to worry about. Chocolate. Thank you. Very kind of you. That's why I'm here. My job is to take charge of him and uh, fly him to Allied headquarters. The fascists want to know if he'll be put on trial. Well, I... I think that's inevitable. Because you're going to need good friends in Italy in the future. In the fight against communism. You'd be wiser not to execute him. He might be uh, useful when that time comes. What's happening? The snakes are leaving. And with a whore running after them. I saw her leaving with you in your car in Milan, and you promised me you'd never see her again. Well, she's running. She's afraid. And she's a whore. She may be running, she may be afraid, but she's no whore, and I think I should have left you in Milan. And why did you send your secretary to find me? Because I wanted you to share my destiny. Doesn't that prove that I love you? Destiny? How can I share anything with you? I'm not even allowed to be seen in public with you. You're ashamed of me, aren't you? I'm not ashamed of you. You are ashamed of me. I am not ashamed of you. You're ashamed of me, I know. Tell me you're ashamed of me, I know. Tell me you're ashamed of me, I know. I'm not ashamed of you. Listen to me now. Listen to me. All I ever wanted was to be near you and help you. That's all I ever wanted, believe me. I wrote it myself. It's a letter to Churchill. And the only mistake I made was telling you. And what did you do? You told your brother. Yes, you told your brother a state secret. Now everyone knows. Everyone. Everyone. No, I 
can't even get anyone to take it across the Swiss border for me. And you can sit there and tell me that you're helping me. So beautiful and peaceful. That's where we should be going. To Austria. No one would ever find us there. What are you talking about? It's there. It exists. I've arranged it all. There's food and there's an old couple. There are mountain people. And they think that Franz Joseph is still on the throne. Time is the perfect hideaway. Don't you understand? Hideaway? You don't understand. I will continue. And I will find a way of contacting Mr. Churchill again. Now, oh, never mind. No, 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 no. Never mind about the letter. I will find another way. But Churchill will have to understand he stood by me in the beginning and he has to stand by me now. Understand? Captain, Mussolini tried to get away. I'll take care of it. So, how are you? Fine. Good. You had given me your word of honor that you wouldn't leave Milan. I know. The situation in Milan changed. There's nothing I could do. It was the decision of my minister. We have to go back on the road immediately. No. I have decided to stay here. Besides, the roads aren't open. I got through. They're open. We must arrive before dark. If you want me to go, you'll have to use force. Excellency, allow me to point out that this hotel could turn into a trap for us. It's isolated with no defenses. If the partisans attack tonight, we're finished. Uh, stay here! And the woman? She stays too! Dulce, if the people here find you, they will tear you to pieces. That's what they want. There's no argument with that. So you can either die like an animal or come with me to Austria. Americans were extremely understanding. They're sending 12 agents from Switzerland to get Mussolini. And an American mission near the border will take charge of the duty. What did they tell you they were going to do with him? He will be treated as an honored prisoner of the United States Army. But who guarantees the Americans will respect the agreement? Once they've got Mussolini in their hands, that man will act as guarantor. He's working with us. He's a captain attached to the Secret Service of the government of Rome. I've spoken to the partisans. I've already made contact with the Como Liberation Committee. I have their authorization to arrest Mussolini. As soon as he is in our hands, we will invoke the clause of the armistice which obliges the Rome government to turn him over. An American, Captain Dummerson, will fly him to Siena to Allied headquarters. 
But the important thing now is to get him as soon as possible. We're cut off. And the partisans have managed to block all the roads. Now the captain's with us. We'll have no trouble. I have both Italian and American passes. But we have to move. And move fast. Well then, let's go. We're a delegation from the free government of Rome. My name is Giovanni. I'm the chief of this brigade. We're on a special mission. We have to get through as soon as possible. There's a black shirt commander in this car. I know him. It's him. fascist troops, according to the rules of war. There's no war at the moment. You fascists suddenly remember the rules of war. You don't want to give up. You want to escape. Come with me to brigade headquarters. Follow me. They got through to Milan. You mean we can go on to complete our mission? No, I mean we can go back to Como. Back to Como. All right, let's go back to Como. We're not letting this bastard go. He's a murderer. We're not doing this. What does this mean? Where are the three thousand men you promised? They didn't show up. How many? Twelve. Twelve what? Children? hundred Germans are driving through. An entire anti-aircraft unit. With mortars and heavy machine guns. We can join them, but we must leave right away. For my own people, I get 12 children. And from the Germans, men.
Berlin. Word from the Eastern Front reports that our armies are still bravely conducting air guard actions. A new offensive is foreseen in the very near future to be augmented by the Fatherland's new secret weapon. Radio welcome to the delegates of the United Nations. A special bulletin to all partisans and volunteers of liberty. Article 5 of the decree set forth by the National Committee of Liberation reads as follows. Benito Mussolini and the other leaders of fascism have been found guilty of destroying democratic rule and installing the regime of dictatorship, which led Italy to social and economic catastrophe. Mussolini and his henchmen are hereby condemned to death. My name is Pedro, and I am in command of the 52nd Garibaldi Partisan Brigade. Lieutenant Fallmeyer, we do not intend to fight, we just want to pass. You're covered by our mortars and machine guns. You wouldn't get far. I have orders to take my men into Austria. And I have orders not to let a single armed German beyond this point. We'll have to contact our headquarters to authorize you to go through. Otherwise, you can't. I can't waste the time. We are supposed to rendezvous at the border. And my orders are definite. Evidently, since you've received your orders, the situation's changed. I can't let you go beyond this point without instructions. Just a minute. There's a long convoy back there. If they open fire, we'll be destroyed. They won't attack. It wouldn't be worth it. They don't know there are only ten of us. How can we be certain there aren't any hidden fascists? First, we should alert the entire area as far north as Dongo. Nino, listen, and Pietro. I'll try to get the lieutenant to our headquarters. You go ahead and tell everyone you see to join us, men and women. Tell them to stay in the bushes on both sides of the road. They have to wear red scarves so they can be seen. That way we look stronger. Go ahead. Hmm. All right. All right. Take the roadblock away. at the factory to get ready.
do, Jeff. Do be careful. I can't stay in the cage all day. Red flags along the coast. Up there, too. Why are we waiting here so long? I don't know. We've been given free access to the frontier on one condition. We hand over all the fascists in the convoy. You can't accept that condition. It's a betrayal. It's a betrayal! I am only concerned about the safety of my men. Do you think you can trust them? All the Germans in the area have surrendered. They were allowed to go to the border. So they have special orders to cross the border. I signed their conditions on behalf of my men. But my orders come from the Fuhrer. If your orders require you to stay with the Duce, stay and fight. I'm only concerned about the safety of my men. This area is covered with partisans. The bridges are mined. I've seen them. I'm looking after my men. That is my personal responsibility. Let's get ready. Get ready to move. Listen. The Germans are going. Leaving us in the hands of the partisans. Listen. The Germans are going. It's a betrayal. Tell us what happened. They're leaving us behind. It's terrible. The Germans are going. They can't leave us. They can't. We are moving out. Get the engine started. Get ready to leave. They're only letting the Germans through. Fought the Italians if necessary. Use your guns. Do you hear me? Yes, Get ready. Throw them out if necessary. Lieutenant, everyone in the trucks. I have a simple idea. It might work. I'm afraid it's too late. I have given my word. Please listen. We thought of making Mussolini put on a German uniform and hiding him on board, letting him ride in the trucks with the soldiers. To the tennis. Remember, it's the Fuhrer's orders, his personal wishes. I don't know. All right. Where are the Germans going? I don't know. Why, they're leaving us. I can see they're leaving us, the Germans. Where's everybody going? Please tell me something. Where is he? I want to see him. Where is he? Patachi. Mrs. Patachi. Where is he? Excellency, I suggest you put on a German overcoat and helmet and hide in one of the trucks. It's your only chance to get through. You must hurry. Pormeyer's convoy is preparing to move immediately. Isn't it? I ask you a personal favor. Let the lady come with me, please. It's impossible. Only you. Oh. 
Move the block. Are we going to surrender without even an attempt to fight? Resistance would be useless. So it's true, then. You're deserting us. How dare you say I'm deserting you? You who promised me 3,000 men! I know you. I know you so well because I made you. And you know what you are without me. You're nothing. Nothing you say. Duce, what about you? Ever since you left Milan, all you've done is worry about your escape to Switzerland. And now, you run away, dressed up as a German! <laughs> Sit right up there. Very good. Very good. Stay here to round up the fascists. We'd better check all the trucks when they get to Dongo. showed him the way, Duce. Hitler would never have become Fuhrer without following your example. No one can wear a uniform like him. He looks like a god. He is god. Guarantee will be treated according to the International Convention. Drop that gun. Get off against the wall.
Where's Nino? I don't know. You know where Nino is? No. Is he at headquarters? He was here. something before it's too late. What's going on outside? The Americans have arrived. Give yourselves up. Not until I have orders from Milan. Now, hold it. This could get rough, and I don't want to get involved in a useless fight when the Germans have already surrendered in Milan. I'm Marshal Graziani. Stand guard outside. I'm Marshal Graziani, commander of the fascist army. Captain Donaldson, U.S. Army. From now on, you're under United States Army protection. Where's Mussolini? So what do you want me to write? The 52nd Garibaldi Brigade. Captured me today. Captured me today. April twenty seventh. April twenty seventh. April twenty seventh in the square at Dongo. Oh. treatment you received. The has decided to take charge of Mussolini. My mission is to go to Dongo and get him. 
The Americans are near Como, and they are asking us to turn him over to them. They have the right on the basis of uh, Article 29 of the Armistice. But that decision was made nearly two years ago by the Roman government. Your government. Our government. The government of all free Italians. Please. Yes. But in the last two years, many things have changed. Mussolini's been sentenced to death a dozen times over. By the people. Your people. The partisans. Men you led and fought with. Here in the north. He's responsible for the fascist massacres. The time has come to carry out the sentence. Why come to me? Because you must give me vehicles and passes for myself and my escort. We partisans feel responsible to the government which you represent. That we are part of it. Well, what do I tell the committee? In two hours, I'll try to get everything you need. Good. That's good. Jews. Jews, Jews. They're an inferior people. No, we can't have anything about the Russian prisoners. With England still fighting, and Hitler's attack on Russia, we're finished, we've lost the war. Germany is still strong. You have to remember that Russia has three great generals. General Distance, General Mud, and General Snow. No one's ever beaten them. I want to march by Hitler's side into Russia with two such ideologies, that of the Italians and the Germans. We can destroy Bolshevism throughout the world. Long live Italy! We will win! Duce! 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 We've had orders to leave. Just a very clumsy and stupid disguise. Clarever? Yes, what? Why do you want to come with me? It's dangerous. I know. That's the way I want it. You sure? Yes. All right. And that's the way it'll be. Please, let's go. I don't feel worried. I'm sure you treat the fellow officer as you I'm told. doing exactly what General Cadorna ordered. Oh, well, I knew Cadorna before all this. and shot at us at least four times. Yesterday, they even shot at me. They're going mad. They're hunting the fascists, killing them, mutilating them. This is not a local village fiesta, Captain. Please, 
Attention! The fascists are still fighting. This is the end of a bloody and tragic war. Sit down. Excuse me, General, about those passes. Shall I try to hurry? Go ahead. Any news of Mussolini, General? Nothing definite. You know that, uh, according to the clauses of the armistice, you're obliged to turn him over to us, alive. We're moving carefully. Wherever he is, he's in danger. One mistake, and he'll be in front of your firing squad. The partisans are anxious. They're not going to worry about any Article 29. But why do the Americans want Mussolini so much? A question of prestige, I think. And also, we believe he might give us important uh, political and military information. He knew nothing. He was just a puppet in the Germans' hands. Captain, these are the passes you should authorize. Colonel Valerio's on a mission. Our telephone lines are cut. I have to dispatch partisan officers to maintain contact with command forces. Okay. These passes allow them to circulate freely in the liberated zone. A couple of hours sleep. I'll be in great shape again. I'll be seeing you, General. Thanks for everything. The best of luck, Captain. Thank you. General, I'm on my way to Dongo. My escort's made up of 12 men from our very best division. Here are the passengers. Good luck, Colonel. Where are we? Don't worry. Just a minute. How come we stopped? Listen, I know people here. I want to see what's going on before going any farther. Wait here a moment. The Americans must have reached Como. They're the only ones with flares that strong. We can't go on, then. We'll end up being caught by the Americans. But you know this area, Neri. You were born here. I know a peasant family. The De Marias. They'll take them in. Please, uh, would it be possible to have another pillow? Of course. If you like to wash, I'll show you the way. Later, thank you. Has to stay open. We have orders not to let you out of our sight. That's a good question. We have a mother. Will you have a mother? Would you like someone to watch your mother and dress? May we close the door? All right. Thank you.
I've got no time to talk. What's going on around here? <laughs> hey, what are you afraid of? They're friends. Anyway, we'll apologize on the way back. Huh? Come in. Good morning. Good morning. Would you like something to eat? Well, yes, if possible, please. We're rather hungry. Maybe you have something warm? Of course. And the salami is good. We make it ourselves. Would you like some with wine? No, 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 no. No wine, just water for me. Thank you. How are you feeling this morning? A little better? A little, a little. They're being very nice with us, aren't they? I think that's a good sign, isn't it? Out of the truck. I'm from headquarters in Como. Tell your commanding officer I want to talk to him now. I'm back the truck over there. Listen, Mussolini isn't here. They took him away. What are you talking about? They got stopped here because of the Americans last night. No one's fault. Now they are hiding him in a farmhouse in the hills. Your commander, where is he? Valerio, the best thing to do is act like you don't know anything. We found the man to take us there. Here he is. Commander Pedro says he doesn't know who you are. And if you want to talk, you'll have to go to him unarmed. What? I have no time to lose. Sorry about all this. But we still have difficulty in getting in touch with headquarters in Milan. And only recently can we show ourselves as partisans. There are fascists going around dressed to look like partisans. So we don't know who's really who. Your papers are thoroughly acceptable. What's your mission? My orders are to shoot Mussolini and the others. And I mean to do it now, within an hour. No, I don't agree. I intend to hand them over to the general command to avoid any attempt at an execution without a trial. We must shoot them before they fall into the hands of the Americans. Their troops are only a few miles from here. I don't want the Americans to get them either. We'll take them to Milan together. I have orders. And I mean to carry them out whether you like it or not. To me, those orders are totally unjust. What do you want? Are you trying to save his neck? The man's a criminal. Agreed. And he'll have to pay, and pay hard. That's exactly what I'm proposing to do. Make him pay. I object to an execution without trial. Mussolini and his henchmen have already been condemned to death in absentia. There's a liberation committee decree signed by all the anti-fascist parties. I'll only join forces to transfer him to Milan. Impossible. Can't you see them arriving from everywhere? The Americans, the English, the government of Rome. We saw them ourselves with our own eyes. The compromises are starting already. The cowardice, the doubts, the filth we wanted to wipe out once and for all. Either we act now, or you'll never pay. Colonel Valerio, the committee decree states that the sentence for betraying Italy be pronounced by a war tribunal. Commander Pedro, we are the war tribunal. What's your name? General sir. What are you doing here? No, I think I was just curious. I wanted to see Mussolini in La Patace. I've been told she's very beautiful. Is this your car? No, my boss's. Here's a villa near here. I'm only the driver. Any gasoline? Yeah. Thank you. You and your car have just been requisitioned by the 52nd Brigade. But... Take the right. 
Ford to Torino di Rebezzano. Go now. Go where? Get back on the road to the lake. Up here. Go and block the curve. Get up. Please. You go down and don't let anyone near. Kill him. No, you Go can't kill him. No, you can't kill him. No, you can't kill him. By order of the General Command of Volunteers of Liberty, I am charged with rendering justice to the Italian people. Pietro, give me your gun. No, don't kill him. Don't kill him like this! Don't kill him! Don't kill him! 